Today we got some more awesome fishing hacks. And I guarantee you, it's some stuff you ain't seen before. And side note, all of these ideas came from subscribers because I got awesome subscribers. I'm just saying, if you wanna be awesome, click the subscribe button. It's absolutely free. Anyway, let's get on with these fishing hacks. Oh yeah, by the way, I went to Big Cat Fever's first annual open house because everybody knows I like my Big Cat Fever's. I'm just saying. But they had like a customer appreciation thing going on in. And while I was there, I recruited some help to help me with this video. So, take it away. Fishing pack number one. So one of my subscribers sent me a link to this right here. He wanted me to test this to see if it worked. I guess he wanted to save his money and spend mine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Generally, I don't like doing reviews too much, honestly. But when I saw this thing on his email, I was like, oh, I got to check that out. It's a dang water lamp. A water lamp. And supposedly this thing's for emergencies and all you gotta do is put salt and water in it and it makes this light run like a salt and water battery or something. I mean, I don't know, but it's pretty dang cool is all I know. And we're gonna test this thing out. This is about as simple as it gets, honestly. It's just a Ziploc bag with a light made on the front of it. Got a little zipper on the top and it comes with two packages of salt. On the back of the box here, we have our instructions. Number one says slide the on off switch to off position. And it's already in the off position. Number two says open Ziploc strip at the top. Mine just happened to come already open. So we good there. Number three, add one package of salt. We have now added one package of salt. Instruction number four, add water to the water level line. Where the heck is the Oh, there it is. That little clear thing on the back. That's the water level line. I guess I'll pour my drinking water in there. Nope, ain't quite there. Number five, seal the Ziploc and shake lightly. That stuff's coming out everywhere. Number six, wait two minutes before switching the lamp on. Well, dang it. I guess while we're waiting two minutes, we'll read the rest of it. Now, down below the instructions, it says, for water added to water lamp, there is no quality or purity requirements. Any water will work. Well, I wish I'd have read that before I used all my drinking water, dadgummit. Water lamp contains no harmful chemical substances. That's good, I guess it's safe then. Water lamp can be used indoors or outdoors. It will not function at temperatures below 14 degrees. I don't think we have a problem there. To avoid leakages, do not turn upside down with no Somebody is going to do that. I'm pretty sure. Then it says, when water lamp is not in use, please drain the liquid. Rinse with clean water. So basically, you can use this thing more than one time. That's pretty cool too. Period of illumination. At least 140 hours of continuous use. And it says you can store it with the water and the salt in it for up to 70 days. So basically, if you cut the switch off, it saves energy and you can use it longer. Also, this light is three LEDs which you can see and it's only 50 lumens which is not super bright so it's been at least two minutes so I'm gonna go cut the light off and we're gonna see how bright it is holy crap it works and I mean it ain't super bright but it's pretty dang bright put my soda bottle in front of it look at that pretty dark over here in this corner but not now not with our water light that's pretty dang cool right there I'm gonna tell you right now this ain't the brightest light that I've ever used, but it's one of the coolest lights I've ever used. You know, it'd be great to put one of these in like a camper, RV, slide one inside your boat just in case of an emergency. It could be a good idea just to have some of these in your cabinet at home just in case the power goes out. I mean, after all, this thing says it lasts 140 hours, and we're going to find out. But here's the thing. I don't have 140 hours because I gotta get this video done and posted. But it generally takes me a couple of days to make a video. So I'm gonna set this thing to the side. We're gonna check on it before I post this video. We're gonna see if it's still running. 
Fishing hack number two. So Jim asking me to test out that water light got me to thinking, I wonder if there's any other products like that. It turns out there's several products just like that. And when I ordered it, I ordered this too. This is a water flashlight. It's called a hydro light. They all come in vacuum sealed bags and every flashlight has a set of instructions with it packed up in the package. Well, I opened this one. We're gonna read the instructions. We're gonna see if this thing works. Number one. To use open package. No crap you gotta open the package. The instructions are in the package. I couldn't even <laughs> remove bottom adhesive. Okay, so there's a little clear strip on there. And when you pull off that bottom strip, it opens the bottom so water can go in it. I'm thinking number two. <laughs> Dipping fresh water up to indicator line. 10 to 15 seconds. Do not immerse entire light. Okay, so we got us some fishing and stuff water right here. Basically, what it's telling me to do, you see this indicator line? We are supposed to hold it in the water for 10 to 15 seconds up to that line. And it also says don't, God dang it. And it also says don't submerge the whole flashlight. Just hold it in the water for 10 to 15 seconds up to that little line right there. So anyway, I guess we just hit the button and it should come on. Holy crap, it works. That is pretty dang cool. Let's get the lights out and see how it works. It freaking works. Look at that. It works pretty good. It's not the brightest flashlight I own or nothing. But in an emergency, this is pretty dang cool right here. And I tried the one that I dropped in the water and it still works too, luckily. But I still got one that I can throw in my boat just in case I ever have an emergency. Because these little flashlights are pretty dang cool. Seriously. They almost as cool as this cup right here i'm just saying it's supposed to last for 72 hours or more fishing hack number three now you guys probably seen the video where i took the jewelry storage containers and i used them for crappy jig stuff but basically you take these jewelry storage containers and they work awesome for crappy you can put jig heads in them you can put plastic lures in them you can even put slab daddies in them they fit pretty good too but i really do like these things for crappy fishing because they don't take up much room something i didn't say on that video is they have bigger ones just like it that you bass guys could use as well well one of my subscribers dennis whipple he must have went to get him some and he saw something that i either didn't see or they didn't have yet and that is they got these little jewelry storage containers that come in a set and i thought to myself that's a great idea so i ran to hobby lobby and i got me one this right here was like five dollars that's it five dollars these little ones right here are like 2.99 or something like that but still that's three dollars for one of these and i got all of this for five dollars and i'm going to show you the best part the best part is these as you can see are pretty much the same as the one i used but something really cool is they have a couple of these big ones and you don't get those big ones when you buy this regular pack but two of the big ones comes in the whole set and i just thought that was cool and well worth mentioning that's all i'm saying this next hack comes from one of my subscribers, Stephanie Haywood. And she sent me this idea because if you've been watching a while, then you know I've got several black light hacks. Well, this right here is what she suggested. She didn't give me the exact light she used, but I did a little research. And this is a black flashlight. Believe it or not. And while I was doing research, I found this one. These were the smallest two flashlights that I could find. They make bigger ones, but I wanted small ones. That's my pointer finger beside of it. I mean, that's about how big it is, like your finger. This thing's pretty small. Well, instead of putting black lights on your boat and spending all that money, Stephanie's idea was to take this black light and to mount it on your hat. And the way I accomplished that was by pulling this little clip off and then putting it on the opposite side. Because the way the clip comes on the flashlight, it's actually on backwards. So if you just pull it off and then stick it on this end, then you can put it on your hat. 
When I was looking at the flashlights, I found these two small ones, and I didn't know which one was better, so I ordered both of them. This flashlight here was $10 on Amazon. The flashlight I got on this hat, well they were two for ten dollars on Amazon. So basically five dollars a piece versus ten dollars. And I ordered them both because I figured that the one that was more expensive, this one right here, was going to be better. Because common sense would tell you if this one costs twice as much as this one, it's probably better. You know what I'm saying? I can shine these two flashlights on the table. You see the difference? But believe it or not, you can't go wrong with either one of them because they actually both work. And I'm about to show you that they both work. If you've got this on your hat and you look up, you're gonna see your rods. See what I mean? This is the cheaper light. I mean, it really lights your rods up really good. Cheap flashlight, high flashlight. I mean, they both work. So it's really up to you which one you want to use. I can put the link in the description box if anybody wants me to. And there's one last thing that I forgot to mention. Either one of these flashlights are probably not going to work on just any hat. You have to have a fishing and stuff hat or this thing, this ain't going to work right. That's just my opinion. That's all I'm saying. Fishing hack number five. Do you guys remember the hack that I did with the work light? Like I told you how you could hang a work light on your rod holder and make it shine down in the water so when you're netting a fish you can see. And I stuck one in my bimini top and you can also do this in t-tops but you can stick it up in your bimini top or your t-top and it lights up your whole boat. So it looks like you're at home instead of out on the water in a boat. It's kind of cool. Well, like I already said, I'm all the time doing blacklight videos. And this company, Neonic, that's the name of the company. Well, they sent me a work light blacklight. You gotta admit, that's pretty dang cool. I look at stuff a lot for videos. And I've never seen a blacklight that comes formed like a work light. I really do think this is cool. And when you turn it on, it's pretty dang bright. But you see this glass on it, that little crystal ball looking magnifying glass? Well, this black light that I made a while back on one of my videos, I mean, this thing is pretty dang awesome. But the one thing that I noticed about this black light when I was on the boat using it is that you almost need two of these because this is almost more like a spotlight rather than a floodlight. If you know the difference between a spotlight and a floodlight, a spotlight has a more narrow beam and a floodlight's wider. Well, that little magnifying glass on there makes this into a floodlight, which is perfect for fishing because like I said, you pretty much need two of these to see all your rods. I'm gonna show you how good the floodlight is on this light. Look at the flood on this light. Light. Look how fast that flood grows. That's about 18 inches from the wall and it gets that big. You come back about two foot, then it's that big. Well, what's that mean? That means that this one light will light up the whole back of your boat. That's what I think. But I went ahead and got two just in case it don't. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And like I said, Neonic sent me these lights, but I talked to them through email and they gave me a link. And if you use their link, when you got your lights in the car and you go to check out, if you put fishing and stuff, if you use that promo code, you'll get 10% off of your light. Guess what getting 10% off of one of these lights does? I'll tell you what it does. It makes it cheaper than building one of these lights right here. So you get a light that'll run 15 hours on low, five hours on high, with the battery already in it, and it's got indicators on it. Plus you can charge your phone with it if you wanted to. You get all that cheaper then you can build this light right here. And that's a pretty good deal. Now, before we move on with another hack, I wanna test this light out with a fishing rod just to see how bright it makes it glow. And I just happen to have the perfect rod to test. You've probably seen me go fishing with catfish. <laughs> You've probably seen the catfish cutting board that have fishing stuff on it. It gets better. Look at this. Because me and the owner, we're pretty good buddies. And this number will change. Hey man, I don't want a job just to make my rod hold the bait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> 
rod. And he just come out with a new rod. You see the catfish logo on it? And it's called Force. May the Force be with you. But anyway, this rod is yellow as a dang canary. And it's actually a nice looking yellow. It's a flat yellow. When he told me about it, he said this would outglow any of my rods. So, we're going to find out if this rod will outglow my Hellcats. I got five rods set up right here. I got a Hellcat, Whisker Seeker. I got the new Force rod. I got another Hellcat. And just for fun, I put a Rippin' Lips in here. We're gonna see which one of these rods glows the brightest. I'm setting up the black light right here. It's about six foot from these rods. We're gonna see which one glows the brightest. That yellow one's already glowing. Let's cut the lights out from here it does look brighter i don't know if that's picking up on camera but from a distance <laughs> that yellow rod is bright it is pretty dang bright i think it's reflecting off the wall and it's hard to tell i'm gonna pick the three brightest and we're gonna have a comparison you know what i believe my buddy's right that yellow is brighter sorry rascal that's crazy. But something I really do like about this rod, let's say you don't use a black light, and let's say you don't want to use a black light. You see right here at every eye, there's a reflector at every single eye. And what this reflector's for, if you don't have a black light and you just got a regular white light, this should help you see your rod better. Actually, this is a pretty cool fishing rod. If you're interested in one, you can go on catfishclothing.com and that's where they're located. I'm not sure how much they cost, but I will tell you this. There's a promo code in my description box that'll save you 10% on anything you buy off of that site. That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying. That's all I'm saying. Fishing hack number six. I'm sure you guys have seen power poles. You know, the things on the back of your boat. Well, those power poles are awesome shallow water anchors. And up in the front of your boat, most people have switches for the power poles. And there ain't nothing to get excited over. Well, I got a buddy that works at Great Outdoors in Cherville, North Carolina. And he actually works on boats. I'm sure you've seen him before on my videos. You have to do a lot of edit to video us much. Do you bleep? Is that uh, what you do? you bleep? No. Okay. Well, you might need to bleep us. <laughs> well, Jay come up with a new holder for those power pole switches that's pretty dang awesome. So this is my buddy Jay. Jason. I don't know your last name. Well, <laughs> This is my buddy Jason Wilson, and he's a professional bass fisherman, kind of like me. <laughs> he's got a product here that he kind of designed to him and his buddy, and I was going to get him to explain it to us. Yeah, it's just a, it's for your power pole switches. You know, everybody's got two switches. I like mine on one side. I come up with a little bit of an idea. When I first saw it, I was like, man, you knocked it out of the park. Well, we put it on my boat, and we played with it, and we changed a couple things, and... We've got it perfected now. I mean, I fished two major tournaments with it and it works flawlessly. It's slanted more. You can use your switches a lot better. Right now he's got three colors. He's got blue, black, and red. And also he's gonna make it where it just single switches cause some people like to put one on one side and one on the other. Yeah. And he's gonna make it any way you want. That thing's pretty cool. I bet it's easier on your ankles and stuff too. It, oh, it works yeah. a lot better. And also you don't have to drill six holes in your boat. You just drill two holes you know one here and one here and then the switches screw right on to this so how fast does your boat go it's pretty fast oh uh, you take me for a ride absolutely how fast is it 70 mile an hour <laughs> never mind <laughs> you know the thing about a product like this it's not just for bass fishing i know cat fishermen crappy fishermen that use power poles everybody uses power oh poles. it's open for everybody and the, i mean everybody likes to look good if you, if you can't catch them you gotta at least look good <laughs> so yeah. i mean i i like the blue because i'm as you see the boat everything on it's blue and uh that's a bad boat right there Hey, it matches the boat and it, it's a good product. It's all American made. Yeah, one of them Gunji boats. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at least it ain't Chinamanese. I'm just saying. Well, there you have it. More awesome fishing hacks from people smarter than me.
I'm just saying. Oh yeah, and just so you know, this light has been running for over four days. Four days. Hey, if you like this video, then you're probably gonna like this video, so you better go over and check it out. Because this video's over. It's over.